My goal for this video was to prove that you can make $20 an hour as a DoorDash driver in 2023, and my expectations were completely exceeded when I made over $40 in my first hour of filming, and even more money after that. And this is how I did it. Objective, determine if I can still get high paying orders with a low acceptance rate in 2023. Goal, make $20 plus per hour. Location, Sanford, Florida. Execution strategy, only accept orders that are $1.5 a half to $2 per mile, mode of transportation, Lambo, current status, sexiest man alive. I then started heading towards my dash zone and then the unthinkable happened. I received my very first order for the day, a grocery order at BJ's for $42 to go a total of 16 miles. I was hyped until I remembered this one crucial piece of information. Recently, I took a year and a half break from door dashing. Whenever you come off a long break of door dashing, your orders your first day back are always going to be much, much better. In my opinion, this is DoorDash's way of trying to get you to keep dashing. So although your first day back might be amazing, the following days might not be. After about 15 minutes of being at BJ's, I left the location and drove an additional 20 minutes to drop off and unload the groceries at the customer's location. At this point, I was about 45 minutes into my shift and all I had to do was drive 20 minutes back to my dash zone, but of course, my gas light came on. I forgot to fill up before I left. I also had to take a little potty break, so by the time I actually got back to my dash zone, it was 7.30 p.m. In order to stick to my $20 an hour goal, I needed to make $10 every 30 minutes. But could I get a $10 order in 30 minutes? Let's find out. The second order I got was this dog water order. I then accepted this Subway order, declined this Red Lobster order, and accepted this Chick-fil-A order. I then completed both orders before 8 p.m. for a total of $10.50 to end off hour two. The time is now 8.05 and you guessed it, the unthinkable happens once again. Just got a $9 order to go one mile. So does the 21 acceptance rate matter? <laughs> I don't know, baby, but <laughs> I'm making cheddar cheese right now. $9 for one mile? Come on, son. So I grab this order and I start heading to the customer and of course I'm sent to the wrong location. The address in the DoorDash app brought me to Ashley's Furniture Home Store, but Ashley's Furniture Home Store was closed. So I call the customer and find out that they're actually located across the street from Ashley's Furniture Home Store. I dropped off the $9 order and actually got an additional $2 tip, which brought my total for this order to $11. I then accepted a $7 Burger King order to go four miles, dropped it off in this Richie Richie neighborhood. And then at 9 p.m., I accepted the $7 Thai food order to go three miles, or that's at least what I thought. You guessed it, something had to go wrong. The address in the Dasher app was incorrect for the second time. Does this look like a Thai restaurant to you? Does it? Does it DoorDash? I then found the correct address online for the restaurant on Google, but it said the restaurant closed at nine. And guess what time it was when I found the address? 9 p.m. on the dot. At this point, I've just drawn the conclusion that DoorDash doesn't want to see this medium chocolate man succeed. I then called the restaurant and they told me the hours were incorrect online and they actually closed at 10 p.m. The restaurant was an additional six minutes from my location. I then arrived at the restaurant. I ran into my friend. I talked to them for about 10 minutes, left the restaurant, dropped the food off at the customer's house, and then arrived back at my dash zone at 9.30 p.m. Now at this point, I had made about $80 in three and a half hours. I was scheduled to dash for another 30 minutes until 10 p.m. No orders came by 10 p.m. and then I signed out. My total for the day was $78.63. I was so close to $20 an hour. However, it should be noted that in this dash, I did multiple things that actually slowed me down. Now DoorDash isn't my main source of income anymore, so I wasn't working as efficiently as possible. But hypothetically, let's say I was working at 100% capacity and I came completely prepared for this dash. It would be fair to say that my earnings would have looked more like this. Now, with that being said, it should be noted that you should never make DoorDash your main source of income if you need stability. Because you can honestly make $20 to $25 an hour today and tomorrow make $10 to $15 an hour. To be honest with you guys, the earnings aren't really that consistent. It just so happened that this dash was a really, really good dash. So the age old question, can you still get high paying orders with a low acceptance rate in 2023? Honestly, I don't know. One shift with a low acceptance rate won't prove this, as I currently had an advantage since I came back from a year and a half break from DoorDash. However, I don't wanna leave you guys high and dry without an answer to this question. So to truly test if it is possible to get high paying orders with a low acceptance rate, I decided to record my dashes with a 20% acceptance rate for a full week. So if you truly wanna see what door dashing looks like realistically with a 20% acceptance rate, make sure to click the video right here. Thank you guys so much for your time. Always remember, wisdom is free and knowledge is power. And until next time, take it easy.